Um, Cody was asking, checking in from Oshkosh, what's a good low loss lightweight coax for portable operations? RG I use I use RG eight X because it's relatively inexpensive and um, it's it's lightweight. Um, yeah, you know, for HF, it's good enough. You know, the losses are good enough, especially if you're using. You're gonna, you're not going to use any more than twenty five or fifty feet, fifty feet yeah, max. You could, and, use, you could use RG fifty eight too, really. Um, you your losses aren't going to be that much different. It's lighter. It's not as durable. Um, but yeah, you could use RG fifty eight. Yeah. If you're doing VH, anything VHF, 25 feet, 50 feet is probably not a problem. Anything more than 50 feet with RGA, <laughs> that you don't want to do VHF. But yeah. HF, oh yeah, all day long. You buy it, put 100 foot of, um, you get like 225s and a 50 for portable operation, you're yep. set. You'll never need another another piece until you wreck it. Until but then you, it's only, it. you know, a 25 foot piece is only 20 bucks. 20, yep. So. Then you get another 25 foot piece. Yep. Or or put That's new connectors on or something. So, um, or uh, you know, the weight weenies, those that are that are backpacking, uh, the soda guys, they like the super lightweight stuff. Um, RG one seventy four, one seventy four, two thirteen, and the real, the real two, small three, stuff. Three sixteen, three sixteen is the real small stuff. Yeah, yeah. But they're only they're running QRP, so mm -hmm. it's, you know, they're lost at a very minimal, especially for HF. So. Uh, but yeah, for most people, eight X is perfectly fine and it's readily available. Yeah. And if you just use eight X and you want to buy some two fifty nines, you get the tool and the die for it and everything. And then if you got to fix it, it's real easy to fix it too. Mm -hmm. Why chai says a quick question. I need both a uh, lithium iron phosphate battery and a charger. Battery can be your Sunday charger the second week of March. Hold off on ordering the battery. Oh uh, well, now time out here. Where are you ordering it from? <laughs> we are foreshadowing tonight's later discussion. <laughs> so, yeah. The um, batteries, those batteries, they usually have a charge, but they're only about three quarters charged. So you're not going to be able to, well, you could use it ahead of time of, of, of the arrival of the charger. Um, no. The battery's not going to, you know, the battery sitting for a month isn't going to deplete itself. So you can let it sit for a month. It's not going to drop its voltage down to zero. Spend if, an extra buck go and get a decent charger. Uh, I'm just going to say that. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for the questions. If you keep sending them, we'll keep answering them. Feel free to leave your questions and comments down in the comment area below. I'll filter through them, and who knows, yours may end up on our next Your Questions Answered live stream. Our Q&A live streams happen on the first Thursday of the month, starting at 7 o'clock p.m. Central Time. I hope to see you there. For more articles and information, along with a full line of VHF and UHF antennas for sale, please check out my website at www.jpol-antenna.com. Your support of this channel drives the production of future videos. Check us out on Patreon. Patrons gain access to exclusive content, and our patrons help keep the mission alive. That's over on patreon.com slash kb9vbr antennas. Well, give us that thumbs up if you like this video, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if it's your first time here. That's your best way to be notified when a new video is released. I'm Michael, KB9VBR. Have a great day, and 73.